From time to time, you may see computer names ending with dot local. Yes, from the name, it implies it's for local usage. You may wonder what dot local is really used for and what is the significance of it. So in this video, let's discuss it. For example, in Mac OS, if I go to setting, search name, so you can find yes, of course, I can give it a name. I can even put spaces in the name. But there's another setting, it's under sharing. The name is slightly different. First, it replaces the spaces with dash, and then it adds the dot local as suffix. And you can even edit the local host name, but you can only edit the part before dot. You cannot touch the dot local. In this video, I'm going to use multiple computers running Mac OS, Linux, or Windows to show how the dot .local domain name works in different operating systems and where it comes from, how it's supported when needed. I'm going to run Wireshark to capture the Ethernet frames so that we can understand how the domain name is advertised. Okay, let's get started. This is a Wikipedia article about dot .local local domain name. It's a domain name reserved by IETF. You may be familiar with localhost. Basically, .local is similar as localhost. It's not supposed to be used as the top level domain in the DNS system on internet. But then continue reading, you can see later .local is used by MDNS. That's our focus for this video. By the way, this video is not about MDNS. If you are interested, you can search my channel for some related videos. Regarding the usage of .local, if you know why we need DNS, you can understand why we need .local in local network. As it explains here, you don't need to install a conventional DNS infrastructure on your local network. You will have the benefit of some kind of local domain name resolution. In the video, we will will focus on how dot .local works. In my lab environment, I have two Mac minis connected to both LAN and Wi-Fi. As shown in the diagram, for each Mac mini, there are two different IP addresses in two subnets or two VLANs. I use Ubiquiti gateways and the switches access points in my lab environment. If you are familiar with Unify devices, you may know under network settings, you can can enable the so-called multicast DNS or MDNS and internally Ubiquiti will use Awaki service to support multiple VLANs for MDNS. So in this video, I disabled this setting. The reason is I don't want the Awaki service which is running in unified routers to impact our testings. I want to completely rely on the services running on each client machines. So just a side note, if you don't use unified devices, just ignore what I just said. From the right side, Mac Mini M2, you can see the host name is like this, ending with dot .local. In the left side, let me try to ping the host name. Okay, I'm able to ping it correctly, but if I try to resolve the domain name using dig, you can see answer is zero, so there's no IP address returned. If you look at the details, it's interesting. It has a warning here. Dot local is reserved for multicast DNS. The dig tour thinks, okay, there's something wrong. A MDNS query is leaked to DNS. Basically, what it's saying is this type of domain name shouldn't be queried using the normal DNS query at all. The regular DNS name solving doesn't work for the dot local domain name at all. But then why the ping was successful? DNS SD is a command line tool which comes with macOS. It's for DNS service discovery. It's not specific to MDNS, even though most of the time people use it for MDNS related activities. It works with the regular DNS service as well. It's just it's compatible with MDNS. What I'm trying to do is I want to do a query for this domain name without the dot local suffix. 
As you can see, it returned a record for this domain name, not the dot local. Before we investigate why, let me run a second query. This time with dot local. Okay, this time it's expected. It returns to a record. First one in subnet 10, the other one in subnet 1. Why? From the diagram, you can see for the Mac Mini M2 is connected with both Wi Fi and wired LAN. It is in two different VLANs, so it has two different IP addresses. That's why the same domain name is resolved to two A records. To dig deeper, let's understand why the two different results using DNS SD. The first time without dot local, let me launch Wireshark. So let me do a normal wireframe capturing for Ethernet interface. Double click, go back to the terminal, then rerun the first query, the domain name without dot local. Okay, same result. Then run the second query with dot local. Then let me go back to Wireshark, stop capturing. First analyze the query without dot .local. Start from this one. See this DNS query? It's asking for an address and the domain name. Strangely, it looks like this. The domain name I provided, Mac Mini M2, without dot, without any suffix, is not a complete, fully qualified domain name. To do the DNS query, the DNS SD tool automatically make it complete. So the first try is to make the domain name look like this. In fact, this is a domain name used for reverse DNS. So the suffix dot in dash addr dot arpa is the inverse address. The first half is the network subdomain. This domain name is made up by the DNS SD tool just to make it complete. See the response? No such name. And then the second try from the same query. It's slightly different. The different subnet dot one instead of dot ten is in the made up domain name. The same result, no such name. At this point, someone may ask, DNS SD tool is not supposed to even know the IP address for Mac Mini M2, right? Where the IP address like information comes from in the two made up domain names, right? Internally, apparently, DNS SD tool used the cached MDNS query result already. But that's how the DNS SD tool is implemented. Okay, let's move on to the very last try. This time, without any suffix. This is the last result. And this time, my router returns a, a record with this IP address. So this is a functionality supported by Ubiquitous Router. It will support the local computer name resolving. The three tries, even the very last successful tries, had nothing to do with .local. So this is for the first query without .local. For the same captured file, let me filter on MDNS. Nothing that's strange, right? Go back to the terminal. This second query with dot local, it did return two A records. But why in the captured Wireshark file, it doesn't include any related network traffic? Because these two A records were already in the cache of this local machine. That's why it didn't send out MDNS query. To understand how this Mac Mini M2 advertises its dot .local domain name so that other computers in the same network can even know its name in the right side Mac machine, let's do another Wireshark capturing. Because this machine has already advertised its name, to force it to re-advertise the name again, let me first kill the MDNS related service and then restart. It. So I'm going to run the QR command. The HUP parameter means hang up. Basically, I want this particular process to restart and to reinitialize. MDS responder is part of the Apple's Bonjour services, Apple's implementation of MDS. Before I run it, let me launch Wireshark. Start capturing, run the command. Okay, go back to Wireshark, 
stop it. So when the Mac Mini M2 tried to advertise its name, it sent out a whole bunch of queries to this particular destination IP address. If you are familiar with MDNS, you may know this IP address is reserved for MDNS. It's used for devices to query their capabilities. See this MDNS response from this Mac Mini M2. You can see a whole bunch of Bonjour related services. There's a additional records section. Here you can find this dot local domain name and it's DNS A record. So this is how the Mac Mini M2 advertise its domain name. The other devices on the network can know its name. They will cache the results. We have seen how to use DNS SD, the command line tool in Mac OS, to successfully query the dot local domain name, right? In fact, the traditional dig command can also be used for a similar purpose. See, this is a dig command, right? I still want to know the IP address for this domain name, but this time I specify this IP address as the DNS resolver. We just saw it in the Wireshark captured file, right? So this is a special IP address reserved for MDNS. So I use this IP address in dig command, additionally specify specify this part. See, this time the result is different. Now we have one answer for the 10 subnet. And the answer comes from see the server. The server is not the special MDNS IP address I specified in the dig command. No, it is the Mac Mini M2. So basically the Mac Mini M2 replies with its IP address for its dot local domain name. It's interesting, right? But you may ask why there's only one A record returned. See the diagram? There are two IP addresses addresses associated with the same dot local domain name, right? Why here we only have one IP address returned? In macOS, when you customize your network setting, you can set the service order. So in my case, I put the Ethernet before Wi-Fi. So the Ethernet interface has priority over the Wi-Fi. As you can see in the diagram for Ethernet, for LAN, I have the 10 subnet. So that's why here for dig command, by default, it returned the IP address for the 10 subnet. If you want to return the specific IP address for a specific interface, let me select slightly change the dig command. This time I want to use this particular interface. What's this IP address for? In the diagram, you can see this IP address is associated with the Wi-Fi interface. So basically what I'm saying is use the interface for Wi-Fi, query MDNS, give me the IP address for this dot local domain name. So let's see what's the result. One answer, this time again, is from the Mac Mini M2, but from its Wi-Fi IP address, the result is in subnet.1. Perfect, that's exactly what we expect. Okay, so hopefully after this very detailed analysis, you are clear about how the dot .local queries work in Mac OS. For Apple devices, Apple's Bonjour service is installed and enabled by default. So if you don't need cross VLAN functionality, just need the MDNS service within one VLAN, Bonjour is enough for Apple devices. And for Linux, many modern distributions, they have the Awaki service installed and enabled by default. If you want, you can enable the cross VLAN functionality or only use Awaki within one VLAN. For example, in this Debian Linux, you can display the configuration file under etc Awaki. As you know, for Linux, you define the host name in the file host name under etc folder, right? For example, this Linux one is called Debian one and for the Linux two, it's called Debian 2, right? Let's do a test. From the left side, the Linux number 1, if I try to ping Debian 2. So let's see whether it's successful. Yes, it is. And what if we add a local in the end? Yeah, 
is successful as well. Let me show you a Wikipedia article about name service switch. It's an interface of glibc to connect computers with different sources. In the right side Linux terminal window, let me show you the default name service switch configuration file. This line is what we are interested in. So it defines the sequence, how the system can resolve the host name. First, files, then MDNS, and then DNS. That's why you can directly ping the host name of another Linux machine. If you ping the .local domain name, it can also be resolved due to the MDNS. In Linux, Awaki service comes with a tool, it's called Awaki Resolve. And let me do a name resolving, IPv4, give me detailed information, Mac Mini M2 dot local. This is a interesting testing. Yes, I am trying to resolve a MDNS related local domain name, but the service is supported by Bonjour service in Mac OS, not by Awaki. And now now I'm using Avahi Resolve. Let's see whether cross different operating system between Linux and the Mac OS, whether the MDNS dot local name resolving still work. Yes, it works. If I remove the dot local, see it's invalid host name. Just to save time, I will not show you the Wireshark captured packets between the Linux and the Mac machine. So basically the way Avaki service works in Linux is whenever your computer tries to connect to let's say hostname.local, Avaki will perform local network broadcast to see whether there are any computers with that host name. Then other computer running Avaki service or Bonjour from Mac OS should answer. Okay, so then we are done with Linux. Now let's talk about Windows. About whether to use .local domain name in Windows, you may want to read the Wikipedia article about .local. There's a section, Microsoft Recommendations. So you can see the long history of contradicting opinions, recommendations from official Microsoft documents. Sometimes it's recommended, sometimes it's not. There's some interesting information here. In this video, let's simply talk about whether it works natively in Windows. It seems Microsoft has tendency of distrusting localized distributed self-governed services, for example MDNS. But because MDNS is so popular and successful in Apple devices, recently in Windows, finally MDNS is supported natively. In the right side of Windows, let me ping the Mac Mini M2 using the .local domain name. Yeah, you can see it works, even though there's a short pause in the beginning. Apparently, the MDNS name resolution takes some time in Windows. You may know in Windows, normally you use NSLOOKUP to look up the domain name, but it doesn't work for MDNS. To resolve the local MDNS domain name, you want to go to PowerShell, and then let me run a command, resolve DNS name, try the .local local domain name. Yeah, it returned result. To understand more what happened behind the screen, let's do a Wireshark capturing. Capture the Ethernet interface. Then go back to the PowerShell. Run the same command again. Okay, done. Stop capturing. Let me filter the frame using DNS. You can see in the beginning, the command did try to resolve it using DNS before MDNS name resolution. This Windows machine sent to my router try to resolve this domain name with .local. Of course, router returned no such name. Because it's failed, then the tool try MDNS next. Filter on MDNS. You can see just like in macOS or Linux, the Windows machine, send out the query to this special MDNS 
IP address, try to query the name. You can see the response. For example, this one, see the IP address is for my Mac mini M2. It responded with the IP address just like how it works in macOS. MDNS name resolution is natively supported in Windows. Similarly, let me try to resolve a Linux hostname, debian1.local. Yeah, see the result? Okay, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.